What's going on guys? Uh, jumping right back into another gear list video for the September Colorado archery elk trip that we're going to be doing. Today I'm going to be doing a quick overview on the pack that I'm using for that trip. The one that I'm going to be using for that trip, and I've been using it for about two months now, is the new K3 4800 from XO Mountain Gear. What I want to do with this video is just show you guys some features of the pack, some things that I really like about it, and overall, before we get into the video, I've been super happy with this pack. Uh, of course, I haven't had it in the mountains yet. I have had quite a bit of weight in it, and of course, I haven't had a dead elk in it yet, but hopefully that will change in September. But so far, super happy. Lots of adjustability on this thing. I really hope I get the chance to see how it performs with a deboned elk in it. So we'll go through some highlights of it here and just kind of give you guys a quick rundown of it. Here's the front view of it. Uh, I am running it currently with the lid. And the main reason that I'm doing that is just because that's how I'm going to be running it whenever I'm out in Colorado. So just trying to get more familiar with the pack. I don't have very much stuff in here as you'll see when we go through it. I just have a water bottle. Uh, sleeping bag stuffed in here to try to take up some of the space and the reason I have a sleeping bag in here is to kind of take up some of the space on the bottom because I am running the crib panel uh, that will support it's about a 33 pound sandbag in here and this packs just shy of 40 pounds right now but we'll get in here and go over the lid real quick and just kind of give you a quick rundown all these snaps and harnesses are really well made I uh, don't see any problems using those with heavier weight loads. Uh, time will tell on that though. Going into the lid here, you'll notice got a pocket up top. So far I've just kept some granola bars up there. Uh, just something that I can use for energy on some of my longer hikes. I did about 10 and a half miles yesterday with this 40 pound pack and man, it was just comfortable all the way through. On the back side of that top zipper, you'll notice the zipper to the back of that and in here I just have a weapon sling uh, this is actually the rifle sling and once I get closer to time and start getting some more of my my gear in here and my my list fully together I'll probably do another review once this thing's fully packed but right now we're just going over some features so these front two clips right here that's how you remove the lid and then you'll notice it has this kind of a, a turtleneck system and what this does is this allows whenever there's no sleeping bag in here and no sandbag in here this thing really gets super flat and gets compressed by these compression straps but what this turtleneck does is it allows you you know once you're fully loaded up fully geared up you got all this extra storage room that you can utilize all the way up to here But it's really nice because you just fold this down and this attaches to itself and stays in place right there. Moving on down, move some of these compression straps out of the way. One up top, one at the bottom here. One of the big new features on the K3 system is on the 4800 and I think the 6400 is the access to your internal storage compartment by way of a front zipper. It's this large horseshoe shaped zipper right here. And on the front of that, you've got an extra additional little storage pouch here. Real handy and quick access to whatever you want to throw in there. Go ahead and show you this horseshoe zipper to the main compartment. Right here is one of their storage sacks. I uh, forget the exact lingo for this, but has a nice little retaining system here by one of those smaller clips. And then you can just throw, you know, smaller items in here. That way it's always in the same spot whenever you open your pack, you know exactly where that compartment is. On the inside of this horseshoe zipper, you've got another mesh uh, zipper compartment, storage compartment fit quite a few other things in there and I'm going to go ahead and spin this around and show you the back side of this get the lid back on here get that out of the way all right 
right on the back here you'll notice it has a real nice thicker lumbar support pad this has little inserts that you can take in and out to kind of fit the contour of your back uh, just adds more flexibility uh, more adjustments to fit your body shape real nice upgraded hip belt with the real secure lock here and then these are just how you torsion this down against your body you can see all the flexibility here and on each side it has spots for you can either do like a uh, pistol holster or what I did is I bought one of these storage compartments just fastens right there to the hip belt so you can throw your GPS in it your cell phone some snacks whatever you need to one thing on a lot of packs is they do not have a real good place for water bottles this does have internal storage for a water bladder and another thing that I really like about this pack is it fits uh, I think this is a 48 ounce yeah 48 ounce Nalgene so you can see how well this fits right here and also right above these water bottle pockets take this one compression strap off you've got another full length storage right here that actually goes in behind this water bottle pocket I mean I can stick my whole arm in there so throw my spotting scope in there maybe my bugle tube uh, trekking poles just anything you know just another nice spot to store more gear one thing to keep in mind while I'm going through this is I've never had a backpack like this you know kind of specifically built for hunting or just a I guess a higher end maybe you would say backpack so I don't really have anything to compare it to you know I can't compare it to Kafaru Stone Glacier anything like that I'm sure they're all you know six one half a dozen the other just top of the line awesome equipment but this is just what I chose to go with after doing lots of research online and they had military discount too so really appreciated that but kind of getting back into the back side of it here just more of the flexibility that I was talking about that you know you can fit this pack to the contour of your body uh, your your torso shape torso height um, is these shoulder straps here these actually come up and you can velcro the shoulder strap itself to the back of the pack the frame and then it's got these it's got this really rigid uh, hook system you can kind of tell how rigid it is by me trying to get that off of there but what this does you can see here it's got this little metal clamp and you've got several different loops here where you can change the height of your shoulder strap like I say this allows the pack to get up higher on your back depending on each person's torso height it might be a case where if you get more weight in this pack you know you get get an animal down and you debone it and you want to get you want to always try to get the weight up as high as possible in kind of the center part of your back in between your shoulder blades when you're when you're rucking or when you're hiking and this allows you to on the fly make those adjustments which is real nice You'll see up here on the top, you've got your load lifter straps. What that does is whenever you get a good load on it, you pull those straps down and that just brings that meat or that load, if it's kind of tilting you back, it just brings that in more flat against your back. What I'll do here is I'll show you how I'm using this crib panel uh, for the sandbag that I've been rucking around, kind of training for this hunt. What you do is you just unfasten these right here Get your lid out of the way and you take this and fasten that and your bag can actually fully separate your bag can come off from your frame so if I wanted to I could just simply get this out of your way so you can see it a little bit better but I could simply just be training with this without the actual bag on but I like having the bag on just because it allows me a you know a little bit more storage for those longer hikes if I need it this gets me a little bit more comfortable with the feel of the entire pack being together. You can see here, this crib panel is really great for supporting 
heavy loads. So all you would do, if you wanted to take this thing completely off, is undo these two straps down here. And you can take this whole pack and get rid of it and just use the frame by itself. I'm gonna keep it on for today. But this crib panel, the whenever you buy this pack, this setup like this, the bag comes with the frames the way I bought it but it does not come with this crib panel and that's the gray portion here. So what this crib panel does is the bag already comes with these little spots here for the crib panel to hook onto. Then once you get the crib panel, you just take it, put it where it needs to go, right here, and you've got two more attachment points up underneath here. And you can see, and this is a, I forget the exact weight of this thing, but it's, it's somewhere around 30 pounds, this sandbag and it's just pressed in there, held in there tight. And this crib panel gets real long and what it's, what it's gonna allow me to do, you know, if, if I do get an elk on the ground is to take some ham, some deboned part of the elk and this thing will get very large so I can get the meat and the majority of the weight up closer to the middle portion of my back. And you don't want it hanging down here because that's gonna tug at you. Gonna pull back on your shoulder blades just gonna cause a lot more stress. So this makes it ride a little bit easier, this crib panel. That's came in real handy so far. Then you can see here, once you get this thing fully loaded, you have some more compression straps here. So what I can do is I could get rid of the pack, you know, maybe pack part of the elk out with the bag attached, take it back to the truck, and then just get rid of the bag itself and go back with the frame only and the crib panel and just really load this thing to the max and carry out as much as I can or as much as I'm able to I guess you would say. One thing you'll notice up here which I, I really think is valuable that they wrote in here is it says uh, do not reattach the bag lip with load between bag and frame. So what that means is this is how you reattach the actual bag to the frame is by these piece, three pieces of Velcro right here. But what that's telling you to do is to not use that if you have a load between the frame and the bag itself. You would just take that, throw it over the top, and then in, instead of reattaching the top part of the bag, you're just gonna use your compression strap. Right there. You can cinch those down super tight, or if you got a bigger load, you can pull that out pretty far. Get quite a bit more room in there. Kind of see here from that angle how big these top po pockets are above the water bottle holders or pockets. But you can put spotting scope on one side, beagle tube in the other. Uh, might put my tripod for my camera in here or my tripod for the spotting scope Just tons of flexibility tons of options It does have a couple spots down here for your trekking poles to ride Like I mentioned guys just been super happy with this so far I've got probably close to a hundred miles with this on my back just hiking carrying some weight getting ready for this elk hunt and what I'll do is once I get closer to September uh, getting ready to leave for that elk hunt. I'll go through show you how I have this completely loaded out all my gear inside of it Kind of how I have it stored inside there because right now there's not much in there Just carrying some weight around but make sure and subscribe so you guys can see that plus going to keep doing a lot more of these gearless videos for the elk hunt just kind of showing what a, uh, a Guy like me that lives here in Indiana is doing to prepare for that elk hunt out west It's my first trip out there to actually hunt and uh, really looking forward to it and gonna give her hell and see what happens but you guys make sure and stay tuned for more appreciate you being here on this journey happy hunting be safe see you guys bye